kick back, unwind, and enjoy a rare find. Today, we have 22 rare finds. Good. I'm gonna buy your boombox. The first two rare finds are new old stock. Brand new, still sealed in the box. Electronics, we have a radio kind of small boombox thing, and then we got a real boombox. Let's uh, check them out. The first one is this beautiful baby, and yeah, they're completely sealed up, never been opened, and the guy said that he just got it, and after a while, never bothered to even open it or use it, so okay, sounds good to me. Let's model this CFD FV, CFD V15. Doesn't say anywhere how much. It was originally, but always cool to find brand new electronics in the box. And then let's check out the other one. We have a CMF-10, a little cute thing, and the bigger boombox was 40, and this one was 10. I'm gonna, I don't know, maybe I can start a sealed electronics collection because I already have that sealed VHS-DVD combo that I featured in a Rare Funds episode before. Yeah, another collection I want to guess. Next Rare Find. This is the first Barbie purchase of my whole life, I think. This was a dollar, it's just an empty box. But it's from 1980, 1983, so, you know, anything from the 80s. And it's pretty cool, I'm gonna get it. I don't think I'm gonna display this anywhere, but I mean, a Barbie vet, like from 1983, just like the box. Heck yeah, I'm gonna get that. And you probably saw it in the video there, but I got a little t-shirt. It's a Road to WrestleMania t-shirt. Uh, WrestleMania 26? Pretty cool, I almost didn't see it. Ha 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 ha. Next up we have a Trapper Keeper from probably the late 80s and this is only the second Trapper Keeper that I've ever found out in the wild and it was at Goodwill where you have to weigh stuff so it's probably like a dollar in the end but yeah, let's get all the folders in here. And that, that'll bring you back to your old elementary school, middle school days. Here's the other one that I have down here somewhere. Here's my other one. So I've got two Trapper Keepers. I guess I'm starting a Trapper Keeper collection. I might have had even this exact one back in uh, late 80s, early 90s. Yeah. Next up we have a banned Dr. Seuss book. It's If I Ran the Zoo, and my mom picked this up for me. It was $8.50. And I have her looking out for different things, of course. Her and my dad both looking out for rare finds for me. It's a pretty sweet deal. This is, of course, a Pepsi glass, Pepsi Cola glass. This was only a dollar, and it was really cool. I thought I'm gonna put it out in my display. I have an old Pepsi rack out there, and I have various old cups and glasses on it and things like that. So this is gonna go really well. Sitting up on there, I think. Getting into some toys now. This is from the Ninja Turtles. Uh, I think it's the pizza launcher, something like that. And does this fit in here? I thought it fit in here, but maybe it doesn't fit in there. Maybe these are separate. I don't know. But each one was each one of these was a dollar at an estate sale. I bought this and asked questions later. It's 2002. It's a blue box helicopter from Blue Box Toys, and it's pretty. There's not much left to it, but I got this at the Goodwill where you weigh everything. So it was kind of like I don't know. Less than a dollar, probably like 50 cents or something. Next to her find, if the camera focuses on that, is the Top Stadium Club keychain. That's pretty cool. This was baseball card and football cards back in the day, early 90s. I guess they still make them now, I'm not really sure. But pretty cool baseball, for me, baseball card collectible. Okay, we have one Blockbuster DVD rental and then the rest are, as usual, the VHS tapes. Let's go. The Blockbuster DVD rental is Snakes on a Plane, and it's not a take this box to rent movie, it's just a display box only one, which is kind of weird. I'll have to go through the ones I have. I don't know if I have one that's display box only, and this is just a piece of paper up here. Oh, because the DVD, they cut it out. Yeah, it's display box only. Usually it says take this box to rent movie, up to the counter I guess, but I don't know what print is going on here. Pretty cool. Okay. VHS time. Mm -hmm. 
First up we have the Terminator with my man Arnold and this is the HBO video version. I think this was the second I think this was the second VHS version that ever came out here, but that was pretty cool to find, the HBO video one. MTV Sports, longer, harder, faster, hmm, that's what I'm talking about. This, uh, I was, the first time I ever got into skateboarding in the mid-90s was from watching MTV Sports, and there was a skateboard segment on there, and I was like, oh my god, that's what I want to do. And so that changed my life, that MTV Sports skateboarding clip, and I don't know if it's, I don't know if this has any skateboarding on it or not. I don't think so, but we're going to watch it very soon. We have South Park, bigger, longer, uncut. Hmm, that sounds like the last uh, tape I just had. Is this a South Park movie? Honestly, I don't really know. I'm not, I haven't seen any South Park since 1996, so I'm kind of out of the loop. This is a sealed VHS tape. Yeah, it's been a while since we had one of those. This is the glory days of the Phillies, and any kind of sports type of tape like this seems to be collectible, so I'll probably usually pick up the sports tapes that are like team fate. Team, team faced, team focused. Okay, six left. We have Jackass the movie. As a teenager, Jackass inspired me to do some crazy things, and this movie was definitely no exception. And this is actually from Super Video Station? Is that an old rental store? I have no idea. I got two tapes from the place that had the Barbie car box and the WrestleMania t shirt. Cross of Iron. It's an old media VHS. I'm always going to pick up old VHSs, especially ones that I think are really cool looking. I have no idea what this one's about, other than like a war movie. Oh man, and the next one is Waterworld, and this is a special one. It's a um, full-length screening cassette. I've never seen Waterworld ever, so maybe now I finally have an excuse to finally watch this movie and see what all the hype's about. Got another sealed one, and I only got it because it was sealed. It's The Night They Saved Christmas, and I don't know if I've ever even seen this, but it's sealed, so I got it. It was at the Goodwill outlet where you pay for things by the weight, so it was kind of like, not much. The Making of Rude Rules MTV. Here's a secret for some of my friends is that I've never seen any, I've never seen a single episode of Rude Rules. I knew some of my friends in the 90s were really into this stuff, but I was not really, I wasn't a fan. I didn't really get it. Okay, the very last VHS tape is... Kiss meets the Phantom of the Park. I could not resist that cover. I mean, the thing looks amazing. I don't know if this is rare or not. I thought it was, maybe it was a horror movie. I don't really know what it is. Maybe it's a Kiss concert thing. I don't really, I don't know. Kiss is okay. That's all I have to say about Kiss. Well, that's it. And remember, like Indiana Holmes always says, keep up the grind, and you'll get a rare find. Keep up the grind, and you'll find a rare find. Get a rare, we get a find, rare find.